All right, the second question on the questionnaire is, how will you act to implement complete streets in Athens? Which areas of town do you feel are most in need of infrastructure improvements for pedestrians and cyclists? Well, the uh, unfortunate circumstance we find ourselves in is that almost every area of Athens has some level of need for improvement. This is true to a greater degree in some areas and lesser in others. Uh, a lot of areas of Athens were built without improvements created for pedestrians or, or, or for cyclists or thinking about connectivity to community resources. And so a lot of these areas built in the early 20th century or mid 20th century still haven't seen the level of improvement necessary for safe passage. Ultimately, what I would like to think is that if you consider all the arterials in town, you could connect from the edge of the community into community resources, whether that's grocery shopping or medical amenities or schools or, or leisure activities. And if you wanted to walk to do that, you could do that safely. If you want to drive to do that, the, the roads are created with safer passage in mind. And if you want to bike to do that, that's a safe opportunity. In terms of implementation, uh, what we need to do is really create a, a set of plans for the Lexington Highway, for Atlanta Highway, for Prince Avenue, and understanding that funding sources aren't going to come all at once, but that we have a forthcoming T-SPLOST, we'll have future SPLOST rounds, we have some grant opportunities from the federal and state governments, that we've got plans in place that are pre-engineered, so when an additional pot of funding becomes available, we can access that funding to do a, an additional stretch of intermodal or multimodal connectivity. Certainly we're also in a good environment in terms of bond financing. Uh, money is cheap to borrow right now and I think we should access some, uh, some bond funds in order to expedite a lot of these projects. Um, I, I think just about everywhere in town um, requires some level of improvement. Uh, I've heard very recently from people on Mitchell Bridge Road that only live in a mile from shopping amenities, but they can't pass safely there. Uh, I've heard from people in Winterville who are concerned about cut through traffic and the inability of residents and family members to bike and walk safely. And I hear from my own neighborhood residents uh, in Pulaski Heights who recognize these big gaps in the system and want to make sure that they and their children are getting safely from one place to another.